Versatility, that's what this area is all about. Maybe you need a place to sleep, maybe you need room to entertain, you have it right here. This is currently set up in the twin bed configuration and it is time for useless furniture trivia. So why are they called twin beds? Furniture designer Thomas Sherrington invented what we call the twin bed in the late 1700s. Now, he called it the summer bed in two compartments. Typically, there was a canopy covering the two beds and a walkway in between. The beds were, quote, intended for a nobleman or gentleman and his lady to sleep in separately in hot weather. Twins are also great if you got the Jimmy legs or maybe the Jimmy arms too. You can get it there, believe me. When it comes to entertaining or when you feel like sitting around playing games, maybe watching TV, put the cushions back in place. Now you have two couches and room for everyone. And here's a little more useless furniture trivia. All right, so what do you call what I am sitting on? Do you call this a couch or do you call this a sofa? Well, traditionally couches do not have arms, sofas do. Also, couches were originally made for people to lay on, whereas sofas were designed to be sat on. So you can call this what you will, I call it comfy. Creating the sleeping area of your choice is simple. Remove the back cushions. Now you have your twin bed set up. For the king bed, lift up and slide the bunk out. Lay the cushions in place and you're done. All right, I'm gonna leave you with one more useless furniture trivia. And this is my favorite. Do not make the bed. Kingston University in London did a study. They found not making the bed every morning may keep you healthier, and here's why. The researchers say dust mites cannot survive in the warm, dry conditions found in an unmade bed. But that's why we have all this storage back here. Simply fold it up and put it away. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.